Hello! Welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with a WordPress block editor. You can use ACF custom fields as dynamic sources with Stackable's dynamic content feature. In this video, we will be discussing our integration with ACF and showing you how to display ACF fields using our very own Stackable blocks. Creating a custom field. The first thing you will need to do is to install and activate ACF into your WordPress site. After doing so, you will find the Custom Fields tab in your dashboard. This is where you can create a new field group or find your existing ones. Once you click on the Custom Fields tab, a new page will open. If you don't have an existing field group, click on Add New and then fill up the fields accordingly. For this video, we will create a team member field group. So let's add team members as the title and then click on Add Field. Let's add fields for the team member's name, position, email, and contact number. Afterwards, you can edit the field attributes to choose where you can use the advanced custom fields you created. You can choose from post, page, or custom post site if you have one. For this example, let's select post. Once that's done, click publish. Displaying the ACF custom fields using stackable blocks. To display the ACF custom fields we just created using stackable blocks, we'll need to add a new post where we will find the custom fields at the bottom of the screen. From there, we can fill it up with the necessary information and then add a title to the post. Once that's finished, let's publish the post. Afterwards, Let's navigate to Pages in the dashboard and create a new one. We can add any block, but for this video, let's add the team member block in order to display the custom field content we just created. Let's first highlight the heading block and then click on the dynamic content icon. Select the dynamic source, which in this case is other posts, and then search for Bea Smith. Afterwards, select Team Members, name for the field. We will do the same for the remaining fields. and it's as simple as that. However, you'll notice that the image in the block is still blank. We can also use dynamic content for block image sources. So let's go back to the custom fields tab and edit the team member field group we created. Let's add a field and name it image. We can choose between image or file for the field type, but for this, let's select Image. Afterwards, let's click Update and then go back to the post we created earlier. Once we refresh the page, you will then see the image field added. We can either upload an image or select an existing one from our media library. But let's go ahead and upload the image. Afterwards, publish the post. Now, let's go back to our page which contains the team member block we created earlier. Select the image block and navigate to the image panel under the style tab in the inspector. 
You will see the dynamic content icon on the upper right side of the image placeholder. Just click on that and follow the same steps in order to fetch the data. And there you have it. Displaying the ACF custom fields using stackable blocks and the query loop block. Another good thing about this integration is that we can use ACF custom fields wherever dynamic content is available. For example, if we are using stackable blocks in the native query loop block, then we can also use dynamic content from ACF fields. To do this, Let's add a stackable team member block inside the query loop block. Afterwards, we just populate the fields with the meta box custom fields like we normally do. And we'll see that the other blocks inside the query loop are automatically being populated as well. The dynamic content feature in stackable is a very powerful feature and allows you to do so much more with your content. Pair that with ACF and it's even better. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We'll link them down below.